Hi everyone, what's up? Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're here to check out the Subminimal Flow Tip Milk Jug. Now this looks and feels like a professional milk jug, one that many baristas would use to steam their milk and pour latte out from. Except it has been designed not only to be used in conjunction with a steam wand on an espresso machine, but the flow tip has the ability to work very well heating milk up on your stovetop, whether it's a gas stove, ceramic, electrical, or induction. It'll work across all of them, which is quite unique. And certainly, there are products out there whereby you can heat your milk up in them, but I haven't really found a product that heats it up and you can pour perfectly good latte out from. So it's the perfect vessel for heating and pouring milk, but it won't automatically add the texture you're after. For those creamy cappuccinos and lattes, luckily, Subminimal do have a great lineup of products that really do go hand in hand with the Flow Tip Milk Jug for what is a great package for simple and effective milk frothing at home and especially traveling. And the Flow Tip Milk Jug comes in several different colors, including the black Teflon that you see here. So if you're looking to shop this jug or the rest of Subminimal's products, you can from this link up above. But stay with me now as we take a closer look at as to why this jug is one you're gonna to wanna to add to your collection. Now the Flow Tip Milk Jug's capacity is 450 mils, which is enough for a standard mug of coffee. With 75 mil increment markers inside the jug, these become invaluable for beginners. With the suggestion of filling it up just above that second circle with cold milk, and then aiming to stretch the volume of the milk through steaming and spinning it, up between the third and the fourth circle for good consistency and depth of froth in your drink. And looking at that spout, it's been optimized for beginners and pros alike for use in latte art. The sharp tip to the spout allows you to create fine lines in your art, whilst the shallow long channel leading up to the spout makes fast and steady pours easy to accomplish. Now, the same rules apply when you're adding your milk and then placing it onto the stove. Place it on a low to medium heat, and then the aim is to bring the milk up to a temperature of 55 to 65 degrees Celsius for the best results in the cup. And a thermometer is certainly gonna be handy to get the consistency every time here. Also note, it is important to swirl and stir the milk in the jug every so often to avoid any milk becoming encrusted at the bottom of the jug through heating it. And once you reach the temperature from here, you can go ahead and use a milk frother to add that delicious texture to the milk. Using the Nano Foamer does make quick work of this. Then give it one final swirl in the jug before you can begin pouring it straight away into your coffee. and the jug during pouring feels really well weighted in the hand. It's very comfortable to hold as well for accuracy and precision with my latte art. And when it comes time to cleaning, a quick rinse and wipe out of the jug will remove any milk left over. But if you do have milk that has been hardened at the bottom of the jug, then boiling some water and then letting it sit for a while before using the back end of the brush that's been included can keep this milk scum to a minimum. Or alternatively, you can pick up some milk jug cleaning chemical that will quickly and efficiently remove all milk buildup in minutes. And that's the Flow Tip Milk Jug from Subminimal for you. Now, looking from afar, it looks like any other milk jug, but in combination with a milk frother, you could easily be turning heads and serving up some pretty cafe quality style drinks without too much hassle, whether you're away camping, on a hike, or in the comfort of your own home, all without the need of an expensive espresso machine. So if you have any questions on the Flow Tip Milk Jug, Add them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon and subscribe so you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.